So in today's video, we're going to be fixing every single player's 2K rating inside the game. This is actually pretty self-explanatory. All I'm going to be doing is just going throughout the entire NBA and changing NBA 2K ratings to what I personally think that they belong to be. Now, one of the best examples that I could give right now is to fix Paul George's NBA 2K rating because currently he's sitting at an 89. And to be honest, that just doesn't sit right with me. So I'm going to be bumping him up plus one to a 90 overall. So yeah, without further ado, I'll be back in like two seconds to fix the roster. Okay, so yeah, now we're back and i uh, just went ahead and went through the entire roster and fixed everything and uh from the get-go we did change to of beads overall because uh, honestly i feel like a 96 is pretty right for him but for james harden i went ahead and changed it to a 90 overall i'm pretty sure like the main reason he isn't in the 90 overall club is mainly just because i mean he hasn't really played a whole lot this season but when he has been playing he has been really really nice and for our very next change i went ahead and bumped Giannis up by one overall as well to a 98 andrew holiday also plus one to a 87 which honestly for some of y'all it might surprise you for me to you know make that change but um honestly i mean drew holiday he's like one of the most underrated players inside the league and uh other than that i'm pretty sure i didn't make any changes but i could uh, i could have bumped brooke lopez and bobby portis both up to like 83s but to be honest i don't really feel like doing that we're just gonna leave him at 82 and uh for the chicago bulls i know it says zach levine's the highest rated player on the team but he's technically not i mean he technically is and he's also technically not because uh him and demar de rosen are both at an 88 now honestly like you could make the argument that demar de rosa is the better player right now but I honestly i feel like they're just all the same level and uh donovan mitchell i know it says he's a 92 but i bumped him up plus one to a 91 but honestly i wanted him to reach a 92 and i also wanted to bring darius garland to an 87 but i mean he's already there so i mean i guess it really didn't matter now jason tatum went up by plus one to 96 jalen brown stayed at a 90 that's all for that team Kawhi leonard is also to a 93 mainly because his most recent games he's been pretty nice and pretty much overlooked the entire time he's, his efficiency has been like absolutely insane and nobody seems to be caring about that but yeah paul george as we talked about in the intro he is at a 90 overall as well and that was also pretty much all we did for that team and uh, i wanted to bump up jaron jackson as well and desmond bain but honestly i just i didn't really i haven't really watched as many grizzlies games as what i should so i didn't really touch nothing and um Trey young is sitting at an 89 it, it does say he's at an 89 but i brought him down minus one to an 88 and brought DeJounte Murray up to an 86 but he also went up as well I don't know why 2k keeps changing the overalls on me because I literally sat through and changed both of these guys and like they either reverted or just changed to something else I don't really know I don't know what's going on but yeah uh not no changes for Miami um I'm pretty sure I did bump Dennis Smith Jr up by one overall because I mean he played a lot better than what people expected him to and Larry Markin is sitting at an 87 I honestly I wanted to bring him to an 86 or leave him at an 86 i'm pretty sure that's where he was at for some reason i felt like going with 87 and yeah for the sacramento kings this is a big one because demontis sabonis is a 90 overall yes i repeat he is a 90 overall now some of y'all if you don't watch kings games i honestly i don't blame you I, not not one bit but if you don't don't worry i'll fill you in on what's going on with this guy because he's been shooting like 60 something like high 60 percent from the field he's also shooting like 40 percent from the three-point line and been passing to his teammates even more than ever so yeah uh honestly i feel like it is very like disrespectful for him not to be at 90 overall uh there were no changes for the knicks although there's probably one or two that you know you could argue some players might go down honestly Jalen brunson might have to like go he might have to go down by one or julius randall should have went up by one i'm not quite sure but the lakers this is also a big one i left lebron at a 96 but i also brought anthony davis up to a 95 and hey westbrook is also with the 80 overall club i know there's a lot of people who won't agree with that but there's also a lot of people who will agree with that honestly he should be a little higher and the orlando magic i'm not gonna lie i wanted to bring ball ball up to like an 82 but i honestly haven't really seen him play i've just been seeing nothing but the stats so i didn't really i was kind of scared to touch it okay i'm not gonna lie and uh luka Doncic, i brought him up to 97 but yeah for the brooklyn nets i made two changes with kyrie irving being up to a 90 overall and ben simmons being brought up to an 80 and nicholas claxton also brought up to an 80 i I almost forgot to mention him but yeah the Denver Nuggets uh I was gonna put Eric Gordon at an 84 overall which would put him above Jamal Murray but to be honest I don't really know I, Eric Gordon he has been like a little more impactful but honestly Jamal Murray he's been recovering he's gonna kick back into rhythm he might he probably should be higher honestly they both probably should be like 84s but like I don't know I'm not gonna touch it like I said I'm scared too Tyrese Halliburton is now a 90 overall not only that but Miles Turner I'm pretty sure he was an 82 or an 83 but now he's an 85 but yeah I did change one 
players overall in the New Orleans Pelicans, and I'm pretty sure it was CJ McCollum. I tried to also change Brandon Ingram's as well, but I mean, it just wasn't going. And yeah, the Detroit Pistons, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to put Jaden Ivey up a little more, but I don't really be watching Piston games for real. But uh, yeah, this is also a big one. We talked about DeMontis Sabonis being underrated. I feel like Pascal Siakam is probably one of the most underrated players in the entire league. It is like absolutely stupid, like how badly people forget about him. But like at the same time, they play in Canada, which I mean, no, no disrespect to uh, like Canada, the country, but like literally every other team inside the NBA is inside the US. So I mean, it's not like we have a bunch of people from here going to Raptors games or anything like that. So, I mean, just because he's on a certain team, that's definitely why like people overlook him. But hey, we're not going to do that in this episode. We're not overlooking anybody. Actually, we probably overlooked a lot of people, but we're not going to talk about that. And yeah, uh, Houston Rockets. Again, I don't really watch Houston Rockets games anymore. Uh, they don't have James Harden. But yeah, the San Antonio Spurs, same thing. Didn't really touch anything. But yeah, the Phoenix Suns. Oh my God. I had such a hard time with this one because like there's so many different like dilemmas going on with this team i didn't know if i should put chris paul as a 90 just because he stole kanye's girl but then at the same time he's been kind of selling i didn't want to have devin booker ahead of pg even though he yeah he's definitely deserved it this season so yeah uh i literally changed nothing about this team and uh yeah the oklahoma city thunder uh yeah i didn't change anything with these guys either so yeah uh the minnesota timberwolves honestly 2k i i think that they did a good job on fixing this team themselves because rudy gobert is at 85 anthony edwards is at 85 elo is at 83 carl anthony towns is at 87 honestly i feel like they're all pretty much exactly where they should be so hey 2k round of applause round of applause y'all actually did good now i'm not gonna lie if you're looking away from your tv screen this sounds wrong it's free but yeah the portland trailblazers uh damian lillard is a 92 he's technically a 91 but he got bumped up to a 92 for some reason i'm just gonna let that be i'm not gonna touch none of that and uh stephen curry i wanted to bump him up to a 97 actually no i'm, I'm going to bump him up to a 97 okay there we go now he's sitting at a 97 overall but i also brought up clay to an 86 but he says it's an 87 um okay hold on we might have to nerf him because i don't want him to be that high up okay that's much better and uh andrew wiggins i'm pretty sure is an 84 but i brought him up to an 85 i was also thinking about upgrading jordan pool but i mean he hasn't been as great as what he was last season but hey, yet again whole bounce back for sure uh maybe his stats say otherwise but every time i watch a warriors game he just he doesn't play as great as what he once did and the washington wizards no i did not change bradley bills overall no i didn't change Kristaps porzingis tingus pingus overall but i did change kyle kuzma's overall i wanted to bring him up to like an 85 but 84 was like the best i could do actually hold on i need to upgrade his free throw rating by like plus two will that change anything okay never it definitely didn't so yeah i'm just gonna let him settle with an 84 it is an upgrade after all but uh he's definitely he's been averaging like 20 points per game guys he's an 83 overall that makes no sense so yeah that uh that's the, how much i changed the league it's definitely been a lot more buffs than nerfs there's only been a select few of players who would drop down in overalls but for the most part everybody went up especially the superstar players uh honestly we're gonna simulate for like a season or a couple now nah, we'll try to simulate throughout like three seasons and uh i want to see how much this affects the league and i know you're interested too because you clicked on this video okay yeah we're at the all-star draft and it does say that jason tatum and nikola Jokic are the all-star captains honestly that's kind of unsuspected or that's like very like unexpected because usually it's like luka Doncic, and i don't know who else but yeah usually luka Doncic is the all-star captain and uh these are this is the entire all-star team honestly everybody who i would expect to make the all-star team this season is on the all-star team except for tyrese halliburton but yeah to be honest this already looks pretty accurate one thing i want to do as well is look at the award races and uh nikola Jokic, he looks like he might be going back to back to back winning mvps because uh look at that i didn't even touch his overall i don't know why he's playing this good but oh yeah another guy john morant also playing insane i didn't touch his nba 2k rating either maybe he should have went down a little bit but uh luka Doncic, we already know luka we we know him and yeah uh joel Embiid also playing pretty spectacular you know what i'm saying but uh trey young i actually nerfed him yet he still managed to be top five in the mvp race so hey honestly all the power to you congratulations uh you might not win the mvp in the first place but at least you're top five now to be honest one guy that i was really hoping was gonna be out there was jason tatum but i'm sure he's also been balling out this season we'll have to look at everything at the end of this year but yeah let's go ahead and just go to the end of the season and well nikola Jokic went back to back to back because as you can see he won the mvp i mean hey congratulations and uh surprisingly 
realistically, Jordan Poole is sixth man of the year, and Miles Turner, defensive player of the year. This is a player that I actually buffed, and uh, he ended up pulling through with an award at the end of the season that we usually don't see him win inside these 2K simulations. And uh, all NBA first team, Luka Doncic, John Morant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Jason Tatum, and Nikola Jokic, of course. Now, uh, Jason Tatum, how? Oh my, he averaged 30 and almost 10. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and see who makes the finals. Let's just fast forward with it. We don't care about all these bums getting wiped out in the first, second, and third round. Let's go and see who is going to make the finals. And uh, it does look like the Boston Celtics are here alongside the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm not going to come back to this video when the NBA finals matchup actually like is confirmed because there is definitely a chance that this is what we're going to be getting this year. But you know what? Let's go game by game. Memphis Grizzlies won the first, the second. Do they win the third? No, the Boston Celtics pop back. Pause. What? What am I talking about? Who's going to win the championship? Oh my gosh, we have a game seven. If there's a chance to jump in, I'll definitely be sure to do that. But uh, as of right now, it's looking like there might be a window of opportunity, but no, uh, Boston's up by 17. So, hey, the Boston Celtics, they have actually pulled through and done it, and Jason Tatum is the finals MVP. I don't know why. Oh, was that a voice crack? Yeah, I don't even know. Ignore that. But yeah, uh, Udonis has him ended up retiring. He's still to Carmelo Anthony. But yeah, as you can see, Jason Tatum is actually the highest rated player inside the entire game right now. We're sitting at a 98. He's also technically tied with Luka Doncic at that spot, but 2K for some reason has him over Luka as of right now. And uh, honestly, it's deserved. He just won a finals MVP. If I had to make a bet to see who would win a championship this season, I'm actually going to go with the New Orleans Pelicans because in 2K, we all know Zion's insane. And yeah, at the end of the season, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not going to talk about that. You're going to go ahead and have a look at the all NBA teams if you want to. Who's the first, the second? Nobody cares. All right, let's go to the next. All right, yeah. Uh, I already I made my prediction of the New Orleans Pelicans. They are currently playing the Utah Jazz down there. Uh, to be honest, who do the Jazz even have? Pretty much the same team, except for Jacob Pirtle and Grant Williams are now here. Yeah, uh, I'm rooting for the Pelicans. I could also see the Mavericks or the Grizzlies taking that spot and winning the championship. But yeah, my Pelicans, as I'm praying that they don't get bodied. Yeah, they are playing the Mavericks, and uh, they actually passed through. And yeah, they had to play the Rockets. Oh, they, this is a free finals. This is a free finals. And just like that, the Boston Celtics are back in the NBA finals, but the New Orleans Pelicans are going to put an end to their little NBA finals runs and appearances and whatever and take this championship. Give me the ring, baby. Yes, sir. New Orleans Pelicans are the NBA championships, bro. I freaking called it. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give me a like and consider subscribing. If you're interested in seeing more, be sure to go check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.